The politicians are fighting this election on uh, short-term getaways to get people to vote for them. There's no structure, there's no depth, there's no long-term planning. They're just giving money away for flippin' reasons. And uh, that's ridiculous. We're well into the cycle of too many old people living too long. And the funding right now at the federal level is uh, capped at roughly a shade over 3%, which is not even close to being enough. And every time a person goes five years from an age 65, his per capita health costs double. So at 65, they may be somewhere around 5,000 per year. When they hit 70, the people, they're gonna use up 10,000. And that goes up by 50% every five years. So not only are the number of people exploding in health, but the quantity is exploding. The problem right now is that hospitals in Canada, generally across the country, cut out at four o'clock. They generally don't work weekends and generally take a lot of time off in the summer. So a lot of good equipment is just sitting there useless and uh, just sitting there empty. And the main reason for that is they have the equipment, but they don't have the money to pay the doctors to do the operations. So here we have doctors who want to do the operations. We've got available beds. We've got available nurses that can comply. And it's not happening. Right now, the way our system works, if you're dying, they will help you. But if you're elective surgery, the people dying will get first treatment and you get bumped. And there's so many people waiting for elective, elective uh, surgery, for example. Cancer patients are having to wait four, five, six, seven weeks before they start treatment. In the case of heart, uh, they gauge them on elective and non-elective. If you're dying, they'll operate on your heart right away. But if you're not dying, they postpone you. Now, a lot of the electives are eight and nine and almost nine and a half on a 10-point list. So people are dying right now waiting for surgery for heart valves. The doctors are frustrated because they've got a heart and soul and they don't want to see people die. And we're looking at heart, heart surgeons right now that know a person is close to death and needs surgery, but he can't get at the operating room. They won't let them. They haven't got money. They haven't got funds. People are dying. The politician has got to wake up. And what frustrates me is that health is not even an issue in this election.